Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. Coming up on today's bulletin, Gogo residents are being forced to buy water from merchants after local authority failures. An Epworth man opens a school for disadvantaged students. A Harare musician tries his hand at tailoring. And in football, the whole country applauds Zimbabwe's triumphant win over Angola. Residents in Gokwe are being forced to buy water from merchants after the local authority failed to supply them. Our reporter Muchaneda Chamuga has been to Gokwe to find out more about the water crisis. Vagari wenjimbo ye gokwe sentro wabawe kutenge seru wa mvura ye muruizi Shijitevera da mtugore mvura irurarura mnjimbo ii Apo nepapo nwa nada mvura pasina Uwosha ya kutuweta sayi Vano wakura la mani mvura ya kuchera mna sasame umu Mumufuku Bati mari ze marenzi Vano wachini wachini wapuwe Chichi bada la mari ze marenzi Vano shora kanzuru yeko Pamsaka peku garira basa Yes nwa wakura kwa kutu kuchera mkero but my Roger Edward and my singing grass in the grave, when you can do. But you could not just see now what you are on the chain. But the moment I was going to get so just now as you got the road is our cats, our cats, our cats, still in Gratin in Gura. But we were going to go to the Rani Shedam with the go iri. Can I am for a Iri kutambuza nekuda kwe kushaya mapai paya ariku vakuma damu kutazo pinda muno umu vanu vawane mvura muma location iri kushaya kamvura mvura isu matepi kweda isu kushika asi na futi waka zura matepi pama nani kiredu kwa zimbawa na kuzosera kwa mwe kumita kwe mfuku Wa mwendu wa wawe kuchera mvura mungu mbozi sina kuchenge tezeka. Jino wa jino kanga nisa utano. Matima acho asi safe shaka nyanyi. Nye kuti matima acho ane uchina unogo na kuwa na mamu wanu wa chita shichi pambi usiku kwa ya wanu shika wa shito kese la mihiri ya wumu katimu wumu. Kana kanturu ika saita basa ni mazo na mziko iri richara mbari ripo. Na mziko na mvura kukuo kwe raka vepo shichitewe za kusana ya mvura ya kakwa na mwa kwa wafura. Zini mtorwe na we ATV ndiri kukuo kwe Zimbabwe. Touched by the plight of disadvantaged children, an Epworth man has opened a school that is bringing hope to poor students in the area. Robert Tafumane reports. Faced with challenges in raising school fees for his children 13 years ago, an Epworth man took it upon himself to teach his children, including those of his neighbors, under a tree. Today, he has over 850 children drawn from the suburb whose parents face similar challenges in raising school fees for formal schooling. ATV caught up with the man and his partner to get an insight into how they started and how they intend to move forward. <laughs> Mzimbo ziku ziza. Tika inda mune sumo skoro mchungo ni mpaka zara. Plasi mamuno garai momo. Mwuru magada amuiti kuti. Itinga vetu tora vana vei. Saka isusu nufa cha garapasi. Chaona wata adambo ziku ili. Tingari pezi si. Chiru pasi pe muti. Kufakare pa ingo zizirwa. His co-founder elaborates on the school development program and challenges they are facing. Tine grade 1. Uska ku grade 7. Asi grade 7 ni yedu. Tinotora avo vaya ni kutiva kafe ila kuni shugu shukoro. Vakuti avangara mbiwa kagara kumba. Nechiko nzere chekuti atisati ta proper registered. Kutiwa wakwani sekuwa na maegzama anubwa kuhurumende. Inezi ipari kuti wamera kuwa pajizo ya chona ndepe kuti. Vanavedwa nige wakawa ndisa chaeso maklasa kodi ne mape imeze kutiti badari ma teachers. Na uti marino badari wane ma parents. Doa Maria tino pama teachers. Saka tika doa titu wanzi ma teachers. Maria tino na hiende rani. Kutitiku so kwa nisa wa badra ma teachers akawanda ni mapi nienza wa ninge wa chida. Despite the overwhelming response Rusununguko Primary School received from the donor community, the government said Lee has not made any meaningful contribution to the school. ATV caught up with parents who were helping with the building of the school after they received material support from a Taiwanese donor. Idano rakati sinungura nekuti fadza 
nekuti iye zvinota sununguka vana vako vana pekudzidza ende vana vari kudzidza chikoro chine tsitsi nenyasha the school development committee chairperson said this is the best ever to happen to their children ndiri kuwa kusungunuka kwazvo kuti vana vedu va mukati me chivakwa nezvivaka kubirikidza nerudo rakaitwa nevarume ava na mama yavo nekubirikidza neve tuchi foundation fees are paid at 15 dollars a term and the money is used to pay salaries for volunteers and teachers the school has 450 students who are orphans and living in the Epworth community reporting for ATV Robert Avmane Arare Zimbabwe a Harare-based musician is spreading his talents to tailoring. Nathan Gomba has started a new business because of the unstable nature of a career in the entertainment industry. Jairo Saunyama gives us more. Popular Sungura musician Nathan Gomba is combining his musical life with a career in tailoring, helping to cushion him against the risk associated with the entertainment industry. Gomba, who has four albums to his name, now runs his own company called Gomba Tailors. Inini ko balansa kwa ndino itandukwe kudaiso. Chinchino nzi kuyimba kwa ndiri. It's a simple thing, let me say. It's a very simple thing. So kuti mafungira ndita songu ka. And it's enda kakawanda ka jino watu. Ndino funga inini kuyimba kunyanya kwa cho ndiri pa machine. I don't know kuti mwara waka ndipa say mafungire wayo. Kunyanya panda ndiri pa machine, I can sing of a song. It's very good one. It's not a good Saka Kusona is my eight hours job. Mostly in the Katangana eight, in the Skona, Manirana five, in the Indiripo. Saka and in time you put into the Zout into my shows. Naga break on a five, they lay set in a practice. A woman on white was out of Bana six, Kuskana eight, mostly time a practice. He became a tailor after working as a receptionist at a tailoring company. One day I was involved in the and the time I was in the and the time I was in the time I was in the and the time I was in the and the time I was in the employee was like a receptionist for, for some few months. I was in the time I was in the time I both music and tailoring are benefiting him a lot and he is a bit about it. So far, Mariangu ya kawanda, ya katanga ku business rakatanga irekusona. Business irekusona is a very good business. Asi, business irekusona hari unze mari ya kawanda kamwe chete sezo nita music. One of his employees thinks Gomba is better as a tailor than he is doing on the musical side. Sekuruwa ngu muna anosona jere serious. Uya anosona jenshaka naka. Shobuti even ni makastu wa mwa mwana. Ndasi nga mbufungiru uti vantu ya wachiso nisa kwa hari. Vantu ya wachiso nisa kwa hari. Uye wa mwana. Ndwe shamsika kuti ndiye Gomba wachi ya anosona. Uye ni kuyimba. Shisa wano shukwansa kushita pungwe mwichiti. Reporting for ATV in Arare, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe beat Angola 3-1 in an Africa Cup of Nations qualifying match in Harare. The sensational victory has been applauded across the country. Crispin Tavura was at the game for ATV. The fired up Zimbabwe football team, popularly known as the Warriors, over the weekend beat Angola 3-1 in a tightly contested Africa Cup of Nations qualifying match at Rufaro Stadium. The powerful strike force of Kama Billiard, Archford Gutu, and Noel Kaseke found the nets three times in a short space of time, helping to put Warriors in a comfortable lead. Zimbabwean soccer fans who had traveled from different parts of the country broke into wild celebrations following the record performance by the Warriors. Warriors coach Raman Gumbo could not hide his joy after his charges won the match. The country wants to qualify. Everybody wants to qualify in Zim. At the moment, 
it's advantage Zimbabwe. So I'm thinking a situation where why not? Why not qualify? That's that's the I mean the the thing that you should take to, to Angola to say we are going to qualify. Because I always think positive. I don't worry think about negative things. I always think about winning, and I think we are going to make it. However, the Angolan head coach snubbed the Zimbabwean press and walked away seemingly bitter about the loss. I'm Chris Pentavura reporting for ATV at Urufaro Stadium in Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.